jump drive. What's going on Champ Squad, and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So today, now that Season 20 is just a week away, my goal is to break down and clearly discuss five of the biggest changes coming to Apex Legends in Season 20. So I'm going to be running down each of these changes and providing some input on how I believe they could affect the meta of the game, whether they're positive or negative changes, and any other thoughts I have about them. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. So on the screen now, I'm going to have timestamps for each of these five major changes coming to Apex Legends in Season 20. Just in case you guys already know about some of these and want to skip to ones you don't know as much about, I'll be breaking down the news in terms of what will be added to the game, how it might impact the current meta, and providing some thoughts on it. So one of the first big changes coming to Apex in Season 20 is a reworking of the ranked matchmaking system and reward system with the launch of Breakout. So this involves several changes similar to the older rank system, such as a split reset halfway through the season, and more rank points being awarded for eliminations instead of placements. The biggest change in my opinion, however, is that the hidden skill rating or MMR will no longer impact ranked matchmaking. So if you're bronze, you'll be in bronze lobbies. Even if you're a 5kd player, you're not going to be coming up against 5kd players in those lobbies. Rank will be sort of that equalizer in terms of whatever your tier is, you'll have matchmaking corresponding to that tier, not your hidden KD or other, you know, MMR that's been used in the past. Respawn's also decided to drop things like promotional trials and provisional matches in Season 20 as well. So it really seems like rank will be reverting to a similar place where it was a year or so ago, which is a much better system in my opinion. So this is a great change in my opinion coming in Season 20. Alright, so next up, another big change Apex is adding in Season 20 is that EVO shields will no longer be lootable and you will no longer be able to shield swap in the way we did in the past. Shields are no longer objects that will spawn on the ground. The only way to upgrade your armor is by dealing enough damage, performing legend rolls like scanning beacons. So basically all shields need to be earned. You're not going to land on a gold or purple shield like you did in the past, which should make landing you know, more even. You know, if, if in terms of RNG, if you land on a box and someone lands to a bin to your left, they're not going to have a purple shield while you have a white shield at the start, which I think is actually really good for reducing that early game RNG that can put you at a disadvantage. So back to the shield swapping change, when I first heard that shield swapping was being removed from the game, I honestly thought it would be one of the worst decisions the devs could make, because this is a really important mechanic that's been in the game for years and really helps to offset third parties. You know, when you finish a team off, the other team's usually right on your back right away and hitting that shield swap allows you to quickly reset and stand a chance in that next fight. Without shield swapping, you wouldn't have time to heal and you'd be in a huge disadvantage anytime you get third partied. So after researching it a bit more, even though shield swapping is technically being removed, you will be able to access an opponent's death box and pick up a shield core from your opponent, which will basically replenish your shields, even if not fully. So essentially something similar to shield swapping will still be in the game. You'll be able to replenish your shields quickly after winning a gunfight as a reward for beating a team. And you won't be able to upgrade your shield fully though. So if someone has a red evo and you take them out and you had a white shield, you won't be able to automatically get their red evo. You still have to deal enough damage with your shield, uh, your evo to earn that level tier of shield. You can't just swap and upgrade. So the third big change coming to Apex in Season 20 is that we're finally receiving a next-gen 120 frame per second update. So this is definitely a feature that's been long awaited by console players, and with the increase to 120 FPS, we can hopefully look forward to a smoother, more responsive gaming experience with better response time, or boost, re reduced input delay and lag. But the only catch is that you need to have a monitor or display that can support 120 Hz output. Um, and if so, you'll be able to upgrade it and really have a much smoother gaming experience on the next-gen consoles. So the fourth change in coming in Season 20 is the new Legend update system that's being introduced. Really this change allows for some customization and progression throughout the game, so that whenever you upgrade your Evo shield to the next level, you'll be prompted to select from options to also upgrade your Legend. 
So this just introduces a new way of customizing your legend based on your playstyle and preferences. I think it just sounds like a good way to freshen up the player experience and make it more interactive throughout the game. So abilities like big ups and killer handling shown here will provide you and your team new utilities that can complement each other and change the whole playstyle. Alright, so big change number 5 is the rework of the replicator system. So crafting materials will no longer spawn in the game, and weapons and attachments are also being removed from replicators. Instead, the replicators will be repurposed more as medic centers, where you can craft medkits, shield batteries, and other basic provisions like ammo, and also craft respawn banners. They will also be free of charge, so you will no longer need to spend time collecting crafting materials throughout the game. Honestly, this is a super good quality of life update in my opinion, since you'll be able to get batteries and other basic things like med kits and ammo without much work. You won't have to spend time looting or looking for craft materials. And there's also been several times in the game where I've tried to respawn someone endgame and craft their banner, but there weren't any crafting materials around. So this should change this where anytime there's a replicator, you can craft what you need, regardless of whether you have any you know, crafting materials in the near vicinity. So there are several other big changes coming in Apex Legends Season 20, such as a new mixtape map, new LTMs, and more, but I've tried to break down what I think are the five biggest changes coming our way in about a week's time. Overall, I do think they are pretty solid changes, especially around the replicator, the new rank system. Honestly, they're all should make the gaming experience a little bit more smooth and player friendly, so I'm looking forward to it in Season 20. It does suck we're not getting a new map yet or a new legend this season, but the actual gameplay changes they're implementing seem like they're pretty good, so I'm looking forward to it. If you made it this far, consider subscribing for more news about Apex Legends Season 20 in the future, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.